Today we're going to be showing how to create a new call to action using Google Docs drawings. To begin, build a new drawing in Google Docs and then start by creating your shape. If you've downloaded our tools for a new CTA background, you don't need to complete this step. Drag your shape how you want it and then you can adjust the colors and uh, you can adjust the outline of the shape as well. Once you have your shape background, add your call to action text by clicking on the text box and dragging it inside the call to action. You can change the formatting and the color of the text just like in a Microsoft Word document. This is a really basic example, but of course you can always make your calls to action as intense or as simple as you like. When you're happy with how it looks, highlight the entire call and choose Arrange Group. This will keep the call as one image. Go to the bottom of your canvas and click on the edge and drag so it fits snugly around your call. This will crop your call to action. If you're satisfied, click File, Download As, and choose PNG image. This will save your call with a transparent background so it won't be affected by whatever color background you place it on on your website. You've now downloaded your call and it's ready to use. Insert it into your site and use it to link to whatever great offers and pages that you have available. If you've downloaded our free call to action backgrounds, using those in Google Docs drawings is just as easy as creating one from scratch, if not easier. First, you're going to want to place your image. So go to Insert, Image, choose an image to upload, and then choose which of the call to action backgrounds you'd like to use. For this example, I'm going to choose the square ebook with an orange button option. It's become placed into your canvas, so just click and drag up into the top corner, that way cropping is as easy as possible. Now you can add text and images and whatever you'd like over top of the image. As you can see, this is a simple way to build custom, really professional looking calls to action. If you want to add an image onto your ebook, just do that as we um, inserted the background before. For now, I'm just going to make a shape on the book. Of course, this isn't the most attractive example, but it's a great way to show what you can do with some standard background images and how to create some great calls to action for your website.